Hello and welcome to Habana News. Today I'm going to talk to you about a uh, an important subject. Uh, it's the price of the Trinidad cigars. Um, I receive on a regular basis a lot of offers, especially from online shops and physical shops in uh, Switzerland. And as you know, I made a video previously on the prices of cigars saying, you know, prices are not going to go down. And it appears that recently there's, uh, there's been a, a, a massive inflow of Trinidad cigars and that some uh, cigars of Trinidad uh, are staying on the shelves. And uh, at the moment, the cigars are coming into the shops. I was in Amsterdam last week and I saw uh, a lot of cigars in the shop. I'm going to make a video about it uh, because I'm not at all happy with what I've seen there and uh, the way uh, they were treating the, uh, the clients. I mentioned it, I made a review and I placed my review in abanolocator.com. And uh, same for you when you visit the shop. Uh, it would be very useful if you, put some, uh, if you could put some uh, pictures and re uh, a review and try to be... Even if you like me, you're not happy. Try uh, stay gentle. Uh, just say you know, mention the facts, and uh, and that's it. So um, I saw uh, in Switzerland, especially a lot of uh, Trinidad cigars on the shelves, but not the 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 major one, not uh, La Casa Labano edition, uh, Trova, not the Esmeralda, not even the Topes, but the other ones. And um, I realized that um, uh, there was a lot of pressure on the prices. And as you know, um, in last year in May, uh, Abanos decided to level all the prices of the cigars around the world. So as you know, next to Geneva is France, just a few, there, there's actually a border uh, from Geneva to go to France. So the prices are used to be aligned and I was very, very uh, surprised to uh, see a lot of prices, uh, price discrepancies. And I've seen uh, differences of 47.6%, uh, so nearly half price on some websites. So for me, it's an indication that something is happening. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on the prices. Uh, I have to analyze it and uh, and look at it. So this is what I'm going to do in uh, in this video. So I'm going to show you uh, a document I prepared, uh, uh, some columns, and um, so this is the price of uh, some uh, Trinidad cigars, and um, as you can see here. Uh, I've put the Coloniales, Reyes, Vigia, Medialuna, and Topes. Uh, no need for to put the Esmeralda because Esmeralda, the prices is not moving, um, and, uh, and not everybody has uh, and has some. But um, what is important is I have put the French market, La Casa de Labano in Nyon, which is of course uh, the closer Casa de Labano next to uh, Geneva. There's no Casa de Labano in Geneva. I've put House of Grara, Gerard, which you know, everybody knows Gerard, everybody knows House of Grara. And I've put a uh, lecigar.ch, which is a, a shop and a website. And it's a shop that I trust because I I met the team and I know they're extremely careful with uh, uh, fake cigars. And they, I spent time with them analyzing some uh, some bands. So uh, they are guys I, 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 um, I, I can trust. And also, uh, this is this shop is what uh, is uh, a shop that um, is selling Cubans and not Cubans. I have a huge, huge uh, stock of Cuban cigars, and uh, they do not uh, buy uh, cigars from Inter Tobac. So they buy it from the gray market. And this is very big in Switzerland, um, as I mentioned it in different videos. And I'm going to make a video about the gray market to explain why and how the gray market um, exists. Um, just to give you some, some uh, quick info, the, um, the gray market uh, is uh, basically a lot of shops around the world, distributors sometimes, 
uh, shops, casas that have too many, uh, they receive a large stock from uh, Abanos, they have to pay for it. And to be able to uh, pay whatever they have to pay, which is usually a lot of money, they sell quickly uh, parts of the stock, uh, which usually is the uh, cigars they they will not sell immediately to get money quickly make a small percentage of uh, of uh, profit and um, and uh, they send it uh, to uh, switzerland where the market is quite easy um and the law is is also uh, uh quite comfortable um to be able to open a shop and receive cigars from the rest of the world the customs everything works efficiently Taxes are low, so Geneva uh, is a, a, a great, a big place for uh, the grey uh, market, and not only Switzerland, of course, but this is the market I know, and um, some of the shops buying on the grey market have websites, so it's easy to look at their prices. So if you look at the uh, what I've prepared, I've put the price in Swiss franc. Okay, Swiss franc is very close to to, to euro and. And Swiss franc and um, and uh, dollars at the moment, so it gives you it gives you an idea of the price. And if you look at the uh, Trinidad here, you have the Colonialis. Uh, the difference between uh, the uh, House of Grauer and La Casa in Nyon is twenty eight percent. So the information I get from that is simple: is that um, there's a pressure on the price to sell. And uh, some uh, the La Casa here is actually lowering their, their price. You know, it's 28% cheaper than House of Grauer. And for the Reyes, and the most, this is the most impressive, the Reyes uh, at La Casa in Nyon is 34.4. Uh, same as House of Grauer. This is the recommended price for Switzerland. Uh, Gerard is 20% uh, below that price uh, on the website. But uh, Le Cigar.ch is 47.6 percent they even do a combo you have to buy three boxes so it shows that they have a large stock and they're really dropping the price so my question is uh why is that and uh, so i'm going to try to uh find solution by explanations media luna is the same 25 percent between the french market and la casa uh, and then you have the topest uh, and between Asagora and La Casa, you have 24% uh, difference. It's a lot. I mean, you know, you buy four boxes and you have one that is uh, that is free. So it's a, it's it's a big difference, especially when the market is supposed to level up, um, level in all the prices. So one explanation I have is uh, is that it can be that there is a lot of there are a lot of boxes, and a lot of people um, do not buy those smaller size cigars from Trinidad the way they would buy them from uh, Coiba because it's too expensive and they don't find the value for money. Maybe Trinidad is not, apart maybe from the uh, from the Esmeralda or La Trova, uh, maybe Trinidad is not considered yet by the market as a luxury brand and um, and if it continues, then uh, will they have to lower their prices to um, to the level that we see? Are they overpriced? And this is a question. I mean, I've spoken to uh, many people, and and I know that um, uh, for that price, uh, you know, at uh, f not many people would buy a would pay uh, fifty euros or dollars for a Vigia, um, and. Um, you can find uh, this kind of size of cigars in other brands for half of the price. So um, this is a question that is interesting. I know most of you have uh, an ID and a lot of you uh, do not have decided not, I mean, to stop smoking uh, uh, these Trinidad cigars because they are too expensive. And, and um, for me, one of the, 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 um, uh, the implication of that is that uh, most of the, sh the shops are, are, have these uh, cigars on the shelves and it's very difficult to sell them. So that's why they just sell them to um, the, the gray market, get rid of them, 
or in some cases um, try to sell it and say, if you want to buy a box of Esmeralda, you have to buy a box of Reyes. Uh, this is what they do at uh, lecigar.ch. If you want to buy Esmeralda, uh, you know, you have to buy another box of something. So this is definitely a, a sign that there is a, there is a, a um, a, a pro, for me, uh, as an economist, I would say that it's starting to look like a mispricing um, uh, for those smaller cigars of the Trinidad brand. I would say that um, they they seem to be uh, at probably thirty to 50, thirty to fifty percent overpriced. This is what I understand. So uh, we're going to have to look. Because it's a bit early, uh, we're gonna have to look at uh, what's happening um, um, on on this uh, uh, on on this subject. What is happening if if the the market manages to buy it? Sometimes the grey market shops manage to get rid of uh, all of this, but the question is at which price? I mean, would you buy a Reyes from La Casa when you can buy it at half the price? Uh, on a Le Cigar de CH. So it's a big question. And uh, and so this will definitely put pressure even more on the shops that are selling at uh, the uh, normal market price. But I can see that even La Casa uh, is, um, is making some uh, special offers. They've lowered the price of the Coloniales. Um, as you can see, the, they are the... They are the cheapest for the Coloniales uh, among the, um, the whole market. They are 28% cheaper than the French market. And they are, uh, sorry, 28% to, to cheaper than House of Gaulle, for example. So I can see that uh, uh, even, I mean, larger shops, um, not, I mean, not buying from the grey market, obviously, because La Casa is buying from the um, distributor which is in the back, they have to lower the prices. So it's looking like the price, there's a big pressure on prices for the uh, Trinidad brand. So this is the, uh, the video I wanted to, uh, uh, to make today to show you uh, the, uh, the information I got and the analysis I made. And I'm sure some people uh, will not be surprised uh, and I would uh, I would love to know what your analysis, what your um, your comments are on the on the subject, um, because it's uh, you know since uh, May twenty twenty two there was a short shortage of cigars. Now the cigars seems to rise, seem to arrive, especially expensive cigars. Uh, I've seen, for example, a lot of Linea de Oro. Uh, in the shops, I do not smoke um, these cigars because for me they're too expensive. They're not bad, obviously. They're very good cigars, but um, it's very expensive uh, for me. And I usually smoke uh, other cigars. So uh, I would like to know what uh, what your comments are, what your analysis and what your experience is. And um, I hope to see you soon. Uh, please subscribe, kindly subscribe to the to the channel and support uh, what uh, I'm doing. And I hope to see you soon and goodbye.